everyone! I'm here at my McGilvery Creek quartz claim today to do a bit of a Hail Mary experiment. Now this is a silica claim. It is just a huge mass of quartz underground here. And it has been worked for the quartz over the years. And back, oh, a million years ago, whatever, they had an operation where they were digging out the quartz and they were crushing it. And shipping it away to a silicon carbide plant for processing for use. And this big pile right here is a whole bunch of their leftover crushed quartz. Now, I've seen in some of the quartz from the quarry itself, there are sulfides in this. There's galena, there's pyrites, there's all sorts of things. There is no, well, there's one tiny mention of gold, but basically saying there's no gold here. However, we know in quartz, there can be gold. And someone's done all the work of crushing this quartz for me. So I'm gonna try to process a bit of it. But I'm not only looking for gold today. In this quartz, whew, let's grab a handful. So in this quartz, there's some green and blue crystals and some other fancy looking stuff that could possibly be jemmy. So my thought is, if I run this all through the high banker, here's one of the green ones, that one's not jemmy though. If I run this all through the high banker, I might get an idea if there's any sulfides, any gold that may have been sort of eroded or weathered out over the years, and possibly if there are any other silicate type crystals here that might be heavier that might settle out as I run all this quartz through the high banker. As I said, it's an experiment. It's a bit of a Hail Mary. Let's see what happens. I've got an hour to run here, so I'm gonna quickly set up, run for an hour, and see what happens. It's so nice being so close to the truck. This setup's gonna take me no time. So, luckily with the creek right there, the truck right there, the quartz right here, that entire setup took less than five minutes probably. It was quick. I'm gonna be shoveling in no time. Now, if you didn't watch my previous videos on my new high banker setup, I am running the gold owl mats now. Thanks to Mark from Gold Stream Placer Supply for hooking me up with these gold owl mats. I've got it set quite nicely right now. I've got all sorts of debris in there. Must have had some leftovers for the last run or something. Uh, nice big riffles, aluminum one at the top, down into their coarse and fine matting. I have not put the new design mat in yet. I don't know why. I have it. I should have. I probably should have before this trip. But again, thanks to Mark from Gold Stream Plaster Supplies for the gold owl mats. If you want gold owl mats for your sluice, contact Mark, he'll hook you up. Let him know you saw it on my channel. Let's get digging. Let's stop talking, let's get digging. Woohoo! So this stuff is easy, easy digging and it processes so fast through this. Quartz is so light that it just washes away like nobody's business.
I'm going to be able to put through a lot of material in very short order. I'm going to set down the camera on this stump. Whoa. And start digging. Seems to be a good run. I don't know, it'll be going half an hour, 45 minutes, something like that. Just cleaning out, oops, just cleaning out the rest of the sluice here, the high banker. Wash everything down. I found quite an interesting rock. It's the quartz with lots of sulfides through it and then green. So obviously lots of copper content in that rock. So there is, there are sulfides here. There's definitely copper here of some sort. Oh, look how clean that wash. Oh, I can go shut off the pump right away before I wash away everything. Run down and shut off this pump without falling down the hill. Woohoo! The flies are getting me out here. Black flies, little black flies. Okay, let's see what we see. Okay, and in the box, let's go to the other side. So my shadow's not on it. We see quartz. We see the top is washed fairly clean. We see it was slightly out of level. I don't see any gold jumping out at me. I see lots of heavies down in those rifles. Oh yeah, lots of heavies. Oh, go down here. There's... Okay, so, got a bin full of water here. Gonna wash out these mats. Ugh. Just into the bin. Oh, 
already washed out the sluice. A little bit more right there. Looking clean. Gold owl mats, everyone. Okay. I didn't think this through. Should have washed that into a pan so I could have panned into the bin. Oh well. Go pan down the creek. So let's hope I can make these glasses work well this time. Have to learn to look down a little bit more. So, panning out the cons in the creek with the mosquitoes and flies. Which are biting me already. Ow! Oh, have to learn to talk not talk so loud. The microphone picks up things badly. Oh, I'm getting eaten alive. Now I don't want to necessarily pan away too much of the silicas because I am looking for gemstones too. Okay, I might not be able to pan here. These mosquitoes are awful. Yep, can't do this. Okay. <laughs> New thought, panning this somewhere else. Up here in the sunshine, it's just the black flies. Down there in the shade, it's mosquitoes. So I didn't see any other kind of quartz rocks that were jumping out as gemstones. I did find lots of quartz crystals as I was uh, high banking there. So now I'm just looking through the sulfides to see what jumps out at me. I have to learn to not talk quite so loud with these glasses. Right. Figured I'd see some lead somewhere. Oh, there's some gold. And some more gold. Piece of gold right there. Oh, look at it. There's more gold. Yay, there's gold here. Not much. A little bit of gold in the mix. A little bit of gold. Not enough to do anything with. Definitely not enough to work this pile for the gold. Definitely not enough to brave these flies. Well, I'm going to keep this stuff so I can test it a little bit better and get a good picture of the gold for everyone. Okay, packing things up here, which will be nice and quick and easy, and then I'm moving off to check out a claim on Watching Creek. Just a quick little stop here on the way. Hopefully these uh, video glasses uh, were good enough to catch my panning, or my attempt at panning those cons, cleaning up the sluice, because my camera ran out of battery, I had to charge it up a bit there. Uh, but I'm done, I've all clean, cleaned up. It took me about 10 minutes to clean up, five minutes to set up, 10 minutes to clean up. Uh, if you were wondering when I was running the sluice, I was digging little holes all over the place. I wanted to test the entire crush pile here, so I tested everywhere I could think of. One or two shovelfuls from each and every hole to see if I could, oh, look, as I get distracted by a nickel. One or two holes from everywhere I could think of, one or two shovelfuls, to get a good cross-section of the whole area. Uh, found a few specks of gold, 
didn't find any other kind of gemstones other than the quartz crystals. I did find some nice, nice clear quartz crystals wash off. I'll take a good picture of those for you here. And I'll try to get a good picture of the gold for you here. It is very, very small and very, not very much of it. So, just a quick little trip here. I am moving on to uh, Watching Creek to check out a claim there. So I couldn't spend too long here today at my McGilvery Creek Quartz claim. But I did satisfy an itch. I wanted to do this for a while. I wanted to check out to see what was in that crush. Now I know. Another reason I wanted to come here today was just get a bucket full of pure quartz rocks. Nice clean pure quartz to help me when I'm crushing using the icon because after I'm done crushing, I want a pure quartz rock to put through the crushers to scour the inside, something that I ha know has no gold in it, scour the inside, and then basically clean it out so I don't have to open up the crusher to clean it out each time. Throwing one of these rocks through, crushing, pulverizing, should clean the inside well enough. If I was really critical, I had a clean run, I'd open up and clean it up. But a bucket of those, will do a nice job of scouring the inside for me. Just one rock at the end of each run. Special thanks to all my patrons on Patreon. I couldn't do these videos without you guys. Please leave a comment in this video. Tell me what you think about the quartz claim. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't. And if you do subscribe, make sure you click that bell icon. Well, until the next one, which is gonna be in about an hour for me, a couple days for you guys.